Sven Botman, thank you so much for your time. I've been really looking forward to doing an interview with you for a, quite a period of time because I think within English football, you're one of the most talked about players outside of the Premier League. And we'll come on to all of that a little bit later. But first and foremost, I just want to say congratulations on an amazing season that you've had so far at Lille. And you find thank yourselves... You in contention for the Ligue 1 title. It would be the first time since 2011 that Lille have won it. But more interestingly than that, it would break the stranglehold that PSG have had on that trophy. I yeah. think they've won seven yeah. of the last eight. So can you sort of just describe to us how you're feeling at the moment and what's happening at Lille? Something very special is going uh... on. Yeah, you can feel in in the whole city, in the in the, in the squad, in the club, uh, everybody is enjoying the moment. Uh, but it's not finished yet. Yeah, we are so close to to something something incredible. A lot of Lille players have come over to the Premier League and gone on to other big leagues in Europe after leaving Lille. One of the players who's being linked most heavily at the moment is Bubakari Sumare really strong reports linking him to Leicester City um, and I'm sure there would be other interested clubs in him. He's only got one mm -hmm. year left on his contract. Do you think he's good enough to make an impact? How, how good do you think he is um, and how far can he go in his career? If I'm honest, I think uh, Sumare is one of the most uh, talented players I ever played with. I can imagine that some, some clubs like Leicester City or other clubs in Premier League uh, are interested in, in this player. So yeah, uh, all the credits to Sumare because he's doing an amazing season. Your stats are really impressive for this season in terms of bringing the ball out of defence and also ball playing. Yep. Uh, a very much a, a distributor and a runner with the ball. And also the duels, you've got like an 86% um, pass success rate, but also a, a really high success rate in the duels. Can you explain to me what you think are the strong points of your game, but also what are the things that you're not so happy about that you want to improve on? I I think my strong point is that uh, it's really like the mentality to to get the clean sheet. Uh, that's really important for me. Yeah, by yourself, personally, you have to win your duels and that's something that I learned from a lot from Winston Bogarda in, uh, in Ajax youth. Yeah, he learned me a lot about this mentality and how to react on on, on situations and I really learned a lot of him. Um, so yeah, like you said, the, the, the duels, uh, I, like, I like to play them, I like to win duels, so I love to, to, to be in a duel with a striker or catch a ball. And besides that, I have to improve my, my speed of of on the ball, when I have the ball, I, I can improve the the movement of, of me having the ball, the dribble, the passing. You mentioned Winston Bogard there. Do you have any inspirations, people that you modelled your own game on from uh, watching them on television, from playing alongside them? Who are your role models? Uh, no, I looked a lot of uh, at uh, Sergio Ramos. Uh, I like his uh, attitude, his his. When he comes on the field, he is like, uh, I'm the boss. <laughs> Everybody has to listen to me. And I think also some uh, attackers are a little bit, uh, no, not afraid, but a little bit, uh, yeah, holding back, maybe. Like, uh, it's because of his, his, his attitude, his uh, confidence. And about Winston Bogardi, he's like the, the killing, the killing attitude. Um, <laughs> like nobody's gonna gonna dribble besides me. Uh, this mental, this mental. I really learned a lot from him, and I'm very amazed by Virgil Van Dijk um, because of his body. It's like the same of me, and he's really fast. Um, so yeah, I like uh, to see how how he, how he's working with his body and how he. He play against uh, small small strikers like Aguero uh, to manage this. You're being linked with all manner of clubs and you haven't even completed one season at Lille, which is incredible. Just in January, 
we had huge amounts of stories here. To be honest, not just in the UK, all around Europe. Sven Botman to Liverpool and Liverpool are interested and this club's interested and that club and Manchester United and Chelsea and Manchester City and, and other clubs in Europe as well talking about you. Can you give us an insight into your mind when you're hearing all of this sort of stuff? What do you make of it? Yeah, of course, it's a, it's a good compliment when you heard these clubs are interested. Uh, you know, always the media, they gave, they give us something extra on the on the reality. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to be in a positive way in in the media. But uh, it's it was not really my first uh, interest. Um, but of course, I'm lying if I'm I'm saying it's not interesting me. Uh, it's the first time that such a big uh, big clubs are linked to me. You're 21 years old, you're on a long contract um, and you're apparently wanted by a lot of or being looked at by a lot of big clubs in, in Europe. Um, do you think it's realistic that you might move this summer or is that not something you want to do yet? You know, I'm not going to I'm not going to answer this. Uh, I'm, I'm focusing now on Lille and uh, the season is almost over and we can achieve something really special. So. I'm just focusing now on Lille and uh, like I said... Uh... And I promise I'm not trying to get you into trouble with this question. What do you think of the Premier League? Do you think your style of play is suited towards that? And it, is it something you've thought about? Serie A, um, La Liga, Premier League. Um, is it a dream of yours to come and play in the Premier League or a different league in the world in your career? Um, if uh, if I'm honest, uh, like the Premier League is yes, it's one of the one of the leagues I I, I dreamed about. Um, but also the Serie A or the the Liga is uh, also a really big competition. Bundesliga also, um, mm -hmm. but Premier League is for me is something special. Um, but that is that is just uh, on on the on the playing football that I really like and I think also fits by me. Um, the style of play football, um, like the, the the emotion, I really like uh, like to see the fans with uh, with this such big of emotions uh, on on the on the stands. Uh, so yeah, the Premier League I, I like a lot. Uh, that's some some competition I really really like to watch and already watching like for for pretty all my life so uh, yeah it's a beautiful competition and uh, can't deny this thanks for watching everyone head over to the athletic for more great interviews and insights and you can also hear me every week on the Ornstein and Chapman podcast